is your girl Sin. If you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button and become a part of the tribe here on YouTube. If you're not new, thank you so much for returning. I love you so much. Be sure to make sure that you guys are following me on all of my social medias as well so you guys can keep up with me daily. This is going to be for the elements of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, so all of my water signs. Please be sure to wrap your sign down below in the description box. It does, in the description box, <laughs> in the comment section. It does help out my channel the more you guys engage. Um, so let's get into a few disclaimers before going into your reading, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, while I'm shuffling your cards. Um, if you would like to book a full reading with me, it will be in the description box. My availability for May has opened up, but it will go quickly as usual. So please make sure that you do book in advance. I do have an online store if you do want to shop with me. I do sell spiritual kits. I do sell planners, uh, affirmation journals. Um, I do sell smudge kits as well. So if you do want anything magical and they are filled with Reiki healing energy as well, um, it will be linked in the description box now i do have a patreon if you do want to join me on patreon we do spells and rituals over on that platform also mainly focusing on money self-love and protection and i do post these videos first over on patreon so they do see them like days before you guys do see them so if you do want to see these readings first please join me over on patreon um and that's pretty much all i gotta say so let's get into your reading Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see. All right. Oop. Well, I have a cup try to pop out. Some somebody's having some sort of regrets. All right. All right, so the bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords, which means a lot of you are possibly going through some sort of heartbreak, some breakup, or possibly still healing from a breakup or a separation. Um, there also could be like feeling emotionally disappointed within yourself, but also your circumstances. There also seems to be like the truth is finally coming out because I do feel like someone may have been lying the entire time or may have been very deceptive or keeping some sort of secret or some sort of information from either one person or it could be several people, but I feel like someone was possibly lying about how they feel or this could be someone who could have been keeping some sort of secrets, um, not being 100% honest and being very deceptive and very misleading or playing some sort of mind games. Um, many of the signs that are coming out for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm also getting Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, I do also feel like someone is feeling like they messed up or missed out on some sort of uh, opportunity that they may have had. Um, someone possibly has some sort of decision that they have made or they, they did make in the past. And I feel like someone is feeling like they messed up. Uh, I do also feel like someone is possibly still hurting over gemini libra aquarius um because i do feel like the the lover's card i'd even pull out the signs you guys i'm sorry the cards let me do that now really quickly it's the ace of swords the seven of swords the five of pentacles the seven of wands what is this the lover's card sorry and then the page of cups Sorry, guys. Um, I feel like someone is feeling hurt over a Gemini Libra Aquarius. There seems to be some sort of fighting or some sort of distance between you and a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like someone also feels emotionally inadequate. I feel like someone is, it's hard for someone to open up. It's hard for someone to kind of express how they're feeling. Um, and because of the lack or the willing unwilling to open up there seems to be like someone feels like they messed up or they may have missed the boat um i also feel like someone is still hurting from the past uh, someone has not gotten over something that may have, have happened in the past and they constantly think about it there also seems to be a little bit of feeling lost emotionally as well um, and I do also feel that someone is suffering in silence. There seems to be like someone's 
It's like when they're affected emotionally, everything in their life is thrown off. So financially, they could be struggling as well. This could also be like someone having to kind of go back to work after realizing that being an entrepreneur or having a business is not what it's all cracked up to be. It's hard. It's inconsistent. It's sometimes highs and lows. It's a lot of pressure. So someone is realizing that, hey, like this is not, it's not paying the bills. I gotta go back to work. I gotta have more than one source of income. Like I need to go back in the field. Um, so there just seems to be a little bit of like going back to what you are known for or what you can do. Like creatively, there's something that you're really good at and you're realizing that you have to go back to it. Um, I do also feel that someone may have been lying to a Gemini Libra Aquarius or with, withholding some sort of information from a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I do also feel like there just seems to be a lot of fighting as well. And I do also feel like um, there seems to be a little bit of like confusion when it comes to where you want to go next. So there's, again, feeling emotionally lost, feeling like you don't know what to do. And I do also feel like there seems to be a lot of pressure about making some sort of decision. So, but I do feel like the truth is coming out because the Ace of Swords is here. So some sort of true feelings is going to come out or someone's feeling like they're, they're being forced to tell the truth or to speak out or to say how they feel. I feel like I heard that. I heard the truth is going to set you free. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, I do also feel like you're coming off very ambitious, very boss-like. You're not, you're going to reach out to someone or someone's going to be reaching out to you. And I feel like someone's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. You're going to hear what I have to say. Oof. Again, I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Satch, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be three people. It could just be like someone is coming off very impulsive. Someone is um, coming off very seductive. Someone is also coming off very... Um, irrational is what the word I want to say um I do feel like someone um is like okay I've made a decision about who I want to be with or who I want to move forward with I feel like someone is also saying that now I know what finally makes me happy now I know who makes me finally happy so someone has come to some sort of realization about something and I feel like someone is going after it and they're not taking no for an answer they're just like I'm just gonna do it I don't care if this person tells me no. I don't care if this job tells me no. I'm just going to go after it. So someone is like coming off very ambitious, coming off very confident. Someone seems to go in and out of having confidence. So sometimes they feel very confident. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they can feel very insecure. But I feel like when they're in that confidence mode, they go after it. They go after whatever that whatever it is that they, they want or that they desire. Um, so... I feel like someone is finally like pursuing someone or something that they've been desiring and they can't seem to hold back from uh, any longer. Yeah, someone wants to sit, tell the truth, but if, unfortunately the other person is just like, I'm not interested, leave me alone, go away. I don't care what you have to say. You had an opportunity to say what you needed to say years ago. Why are you coming to me now? too much time has passed like why are you coming back so there just seems to be a little bit of like someone's like why are you here i'm getting that meme by jocelyn hernandez why are you here ho <laughs> ho why is you here like i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting that kind of uh, meme from jocelyn hernandez if you know you know um but i feel like there just seems to be a little bit of like questioning someone's motives or intentions um I do also feel that a, a fire sign may be also ignoring your efforts too. A fire sign may be stuck or fixed on their decision because either you may have lied, um, kept some sort of, or maybe possibly cheated, or someone, a fire sign may have cheated on you. But I feel like someone's just like, no, you lied. Um, I can't trust you anymore. Uh, I don't. There's nothing that you can possibly say or do that's going to make me change my mind. So there is a little bit of like being very resistant or reluctant to open up or kind of like going in a different direction. It's weird because for, for whatever reason, someone is happy that a relationship or connection has ended. Um, someone's just like, well, I gave my all. Oh, well, I'm going, I'm going to go on my own. So I don't know if you're happy that a connection is secretly over. Um, but I feel like someone's happy that 
or smiling that something is over. I also feel like someone is finally cutting someone off or ending things with someone because they may have hurt or broke their feelings or their heart in some sort of way. I also feel like, a, I don't know if this is you, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or you may be dealing with another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone um, doesn't really care when they hurt someone's feelings. It's like, someone's, someone's very detached when they hurt people. Like, they're just, I'm getting a narcissist. They're just like, yeah, whatever, I hurt your feelings, get over it. It's kind of that type of energy. Oof, it's, it's, it's very, um, like a, a very irrational way of looking at life. Like someone just hurts, goes around hurting women or men and they just don't care. And I don't mean physically, I mean like emotionally. They're just like, yeah, I hurt your feelings, like get over it, next victim. <laughs> like it's kind of that type of vibe. Someone is also saying, um, or telling people like, you know, I ain't shit. Like someone has a, a unhealthy way of how they look at themselves. They're, they think that they ain't shit. Like someone's like, I ain't shit, whatever. Like I hurt her, whatever. Like I know I ain't shit. Like I knew I was gonna hurt her. Like this is how I am. I got a cheating problem. Like this is how I am. Like, you know, this is what I do. Like I don't wanna take no female seriously. I don't wanna take no woman seriously or I don't wanna take no man seriously. Like this is just me. Somebody is deeply like detached when it comes to how they look at relationships or how they look at love. Someone gets easily bored in relationships too or in connections. Um, so someone is just like, they're always looking for the next fix. Um, so someone has an, uh, an uh, unhealthy way of how they look at relationships, but I also feel like someone is needing help, but they're too prideful to ask for help. They're like, I ain't got a problem. When really deep down inside, they do have a problem. It could be like bloodline, like maybe their father cheated on their mother and they, they, they normalize that in their mind. They, they're, they're like, this is normal. Like, Men treat women like this all the time, and just like this is not normal. And that, but that person, that's they grew up around that environment, so to them, that's normal. Like cheating is normal to to them. Like taking advantage of women or men is is normal to them. They're it's like normalized for them. So someone is needing um, help, but they're too prideful for that. Let's look at the five. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I need new cards. I know. Don't judge me. But this is my tarot deck. So if you do want to purchase my tarot deck, um, it'll be linked in the description box. Just had these cards for so long. Someone is realizing that whenever they get into a situation with a female or a, or a man, they always say, "Oh my God!" Like this person fills my uh, fills a void for me or it's a quick I'm getting like someone has a problem it's a quick fix like yes for you know they fill your void but for how long it's like someone needs, is having to come to, to some sort of realization that you need to fulfill your voids not people or people who are exterior to you like you can't make people fill your voids that you created yourself so someone is again selfish self-centered or narcissist manipulative very this is someone who likes to play a lot of mind games this can also be someone that is has a deep rooted <sighs> i'm not saying that i'm not gonna say that because that, that that term really dark um i'm not talking to y'all i'm talking to my spirit team <laughs> but i'm getting like someone is just like um they have a deep dark energy in them that can come it's like it's like dr dr jekyll and dr Hyde. i think that's jekyll and Hyde. um they could be really nice but when that deep dark like energy comes out of them they're mean Ooh, they're mean they're mean like they're mean if you hurt that ooh, they're mean i've also feel like someone is like someone may have hurt someone and they and they thought it was funny someone's like yeah you know you deserve what i did to you um, you deserve everything I did to you, like you, because you you did this to me, you did that to me. You deserve what I did to you. So someone is like laughing and hurting someone, um, and willingly knowing and inflicting pain on someone emotionally. This got dark really fast. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> this is just what I'm seeing. Like someone's just like, yeah, you deserve what I did to you. You deserve, um, you deserve. 
how I treated you because you did this to me. You were, you ignored me for years. You act like I didn't exist, blah, blah, blah. Like you, you treated me this way, that way. You kept leaving me um, when I need you the most. So you deserve what I did to you. So someone feels like someone, someone is justifying their actions, even though their actions are negative, manipulative, narcissistic, um, evil. Let's see the lovers. I feel like you're offering on, uh, or trying to express yourself or trying to get some sort of emotional or trying to be vulnerable with someone. But I feel like two people are marrying each other. Like someone's just like, well, you're not going to talk to me. I'm not going to talk to you either. Like if you don't reach out to me and, and someone's like, I could do this for years. You want to go toe and toe with me? I can go toe and toe with you too. So there just like, seems to be a lot of hostile energy between you and the air sign. Um, it could also be like, Two people are coming off very detached towards each other. But it's weird because two people, like, they still care about each other. They still love each other or have love. I don't know because Gemini, Libra, Chris may not love that person anymore. But they still care and they still have love for them. I just feel like Gemini, Libra, Chris may not be in love with you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio anymore. But they still possibly have love for you. Or you could be feeling this way towards a Gemini Libra Aquarius and just wanting to work things out and wanting to talk and having, there's like a, an elephant in the room between you and that person. But I feel like it's not being addressed. Like two people may be possibly walking on eggshells or possibly avoiding each other on purpose. I feel like someone's avoiding a conversation. Yeah, someone's also, a, a Gemini Libra, Libra Aquarius may have you blocked or may have unfollowed you or may have, completely detached themselves like i feel like a gemini libra Aquarius is completely detached they're like i'm i'm done like casket lord mental funeral um i feel like an air sign is coming up very detached not willing to compromise not willing to talk i do feel like that is also hurting you as well or you may be hurting a, a gemini libra Aquarius. um <sighs> someone doesn't want something to end though Someone is still in someone's energy or someone is feeling like, no, like, we need to talk. We're not done. We need to have a conversation. But the other person is just like, no, we don't. No, we don't. Um, I feel like because there seems to be some sort of blockages in communication or miscommunication, someone may be possibly watching at a distance and reading something completely wrong. Like, let's say, for example, two lovers, they follow each other on social media, but they're not talking or they still care about each other, but they're not talking. They're not they're not active on each other's pages, but sometimes you go and check their Insta stories and you're seeing stuff and you're just like, damn, like this person's living their best life, but it may not be what you think it is. Uh, meaning that someone is misinterpreting something from at a distance and take and hurting by watching it. It's kind of just like, you don't even know the full story. You're just seeing what they're posting, but you don't know what's really going on in their life because you know, social media is, an illusion it's in a facade it's it's what people choose to choose to let you see a part of their world like a glimpse into someone's world it's not the full reality of someone's world but someone is taking whatever they're seeing for face value and they're they're beating themselves up or they're having a hard time watching someone from a distance move on if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe and comment down below i do respond to all of your comments as you guys see so if you guys want to leave me a comment down below i really appreciate it and it does help out my channel or live their best life. Hmm. Let's see, page of cups. Seems to be unfinished business. Uh, there also seems to be, when it comes to your finances, there seems to be something in limbo. Um, there also seems to be like you will be financially self-sufficient or have enough to supplement your lifestyle. But I feel like emotionally, again, when you're thrown off, it's, it's trickling into your finances. It's, it's, it's stopping you from, from getting work done. There also seems to be like you channeling all of your, your emotions into your work. Um, and by doing that, um, it's kind of causing a lot of stagnancy or you feeling um, very lost. 
Um, I do feel like you're going to work hard for your money. I do also feel like you're always going to have enough to kind of like pay bills or to kind of like live the life that you would like to live. Um, but I do also feel that there is also something about you having to work very hard uh, for your money. Now, I do feel like there is going to be an offer coming in for you um, if you are single. And I do also feel like there's some sort of stability coming in from someone else as well. And this may be someone who may be possibly at a distance from you. Um, I do feel like an emotional connection is coming into your life that is going to cause you to feel like this is a firm foundation. Is this something that you can build on? So I do feel like if you're single, there is another connection coming in for you or this is connection that's going to help you um, move on or to help you heal because i do feel like when spirit feels like you're grieving or you're hurting and you, it's too much for you to bear on your own they do send someone into your life to help heal you or to help it, and they may have like a healing healing energy to them or healing and nurturing vibe to them and i feel like spirit's like look we're going to send this person to help you move on and it doesn't mean that this is someone that you're going to be in a relationship with or someone that you're going to be forever with or long term with but it could just be like someone is just coming into your life to help assist you in your new chapter in your life so this is pretty much all that i'm seeing for you cancer pisces scorpio please wrap your sign down below if you would like to book a full reading with me please book in advance my availability will be linked down below if you guys want to book with me also um, i do have an online store if you do want to shop with me i do sell this deck and also a lot of magical stuff that is filled with reiki energy on my site so it'll be somewhere on the screen but also linked in the description box as well i do have a patreon if you do want to join me on patreon where we do spells and rituals um, mainly focusing on self-love money and protection um, that'll be linked down below and on patreon you guys do see all these videos first before youtube like you guys see them days before youtube youtube don't be get mad at me join patreon <laughs> but um you guys will see them on patreon first so if you want to join the tribe over there on patreon it's lit like join us over there um but this is pretty much all that i'm seeing for you cancer prices scorpio i love you so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys